is the murder of Martine Bernard. Martine Bernard was born on August 9, 1997 in Hollywood, Florida to Roosevelt and Rose Bernard. Martine was married to 22-year-old Cassandra Blank, also of Hollywood, Florida. Around early June 2018, Cassandra and Martine got into a violent argument. He felt as though she had disrespected him in front of friends and he did not like it at all. Instead of discussing things with his wife and talking things out to see where things went wrong and how they could mend the situation, Cassandra got extremely violent and shot Martine, the mother of his unborn child. At the time of her death, Martine was only 20 years old. Cassandra seemed as if it, though he was just filled with so many rage. That would not be the only terrible crime that Cassandra would commit. Within the matter of the next five days, Cassandra would kill Martine's father, 68-year-old Roosevelt Bernard. Martine, who was six months pregnant at the time of her death, was left in the couple's apartment for eight days before being discovered by police. However, before the discovery of her body, Cassandra made a few text messages. Cassandra texted himself from his wife's phone to make it seem like she was still alive, police said. He also admitted to sending a text from her phone to make it appear as though she confessed to murdering her father for committing suicide. Cassandra killed his father-in-law while at his in-law's house according to the Miami Arrow. He fatally shot Roosevelt Bernard in Martine's old room as his mother-in-law, Ye Rose Bernard, was showering. Then locked the door to the bedroom. Cassandra later told her Roosevelt Bernard stepped out to talk to a Hispanic man according to police. After you Rose left the house with another daughter, police said, Blank returned to empty the house, put the body in a trash can, and took it to an empty field. He later set it on fire. The family reported Roosevelt Bernard missing because they found his wallet, keys, and cell phone in the home, but he wasn't to be found. They also noticed a trash can was missing and what looked like a blood on the door of the room where he was killed. According to police, neighbor surveillance camera capture blank returned to the family house minutes after they departed. He would later be seen rolling a garbage from the house towards the lot where Roosevelt Bernard burnt remains were found. Police wanted to question Cassandra and told him to come along with his wife to the police station to meet. Authorities on June 11, 2018. He said his wife didn't want to come. Police started monitoring him and caught him transporting his dead wife body from their apartment in a garbage bag before dawn on June 12. The next day, Cassandra was arrested for suspicion of murder. Cassandra, at the time of his arrest, did not have a criminal record in Florida, but he was charged with two counts of premeditated murder with his father-in-law, Roosevelt, and his wife, Martine and abuse of corpse that also carried two charges against him. Sandrix never gave a reason as to why he would kill his father-in-law. He never stated that they had an argument or a problem or he was suspicious of him doing something to his daughter that would initiate an argument between the two men. He refused to even tell police why he did what he did. Only to that he admitted to the crime and he admitted that he was the one that used his wife Martine's cell phone while she was already dead to send text messages to family member to make it seem as if she had committed suicide and killed her father as well. Martine was a fun-loving and gentle young lady that fell in love real early in life. She also always knew what she wanted. And once she made up her mind about someone, it was hard for her to change. However, her, her age would later prove a disadvantage to her when it comes to making decisions about life partner and seeking out the red flags before you make a commitment to someone. Martine really didn't have much life experience with 
with the opposite sex. And so she didn't know to handle a toxic relationship and when to seek help when you feel like you're overwhelmed and did not know what to do. Perhaps she was so scared to admit to her parents that she had moved too fast, that she had moved to settle down too fast in life before she was really experienced anything to add to a relationship. Sometime as a young lady or someone that is younger in general, it's hard for you to really gather your emotion and express it to someone else about how you feel or what you're going through and how that message will be received. It's so sad that this young woman would have to lose her life before she really had a chance to experience it. Father had to be caught up in the midst of it all, clearly by a person that struggled with mental health issues and he did not know how to properly handle his own problems as well. My prayer and condolences goes out to you Rose Bernard, Martine mom, and the loss of her daughter and her husband, and to Martine's siblings that was left behind. May they find some kind of peace and solace for this double tragedy. And may Martine and Roosevelt forever rest in peace. Until next time on the Meaningful Talk Crime Doc, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch up with you guys later in the comment section.